story. I mean, I had Ben Harper in here the other day, and he brought me the most outrageously good sounding album, yeah. 10 songs. And we had this discussion about volume, and he, he was the perfect example of someone who wants it to be dynamic, but he wants it to be as loud as it could possibly be, but not lose any of the dynamics. Right. And, you know, we were tiptoeing this line. It literally was a line that has like a maybe a 2.2 or 0.3 dB increment where if you go past it, you're going to start to sacrifice. And if you sure. go down a little bit, you may be lower than some other record in the iPod. Right. And you can't respect anybody as a musician more than I respect this guy. And I really... You know, I think we found we found a good point, though. But he left it in your hands, so he, he was definitely recognizing the fact that yeah. if we go too far, I want to bring it back. Yeah. I want to keep the yeah. dynamic. But you know, it was, it was good because yeah. we you know we ended up uh, we ended up getting some MP3s on iTunes of his other records because I wanted to see what he was used to. Sure. Because he you know he really and I've had Ben Harper records and I know they're always loud. Right. So I really wanted to make sure that I wasn't going that he wasn't going to go home. I've had this experience so many times. Sure. Greg, it sounds really good, but I was listening to my last album. Or I was listening to something, and that's the you know that's where you don't <laughs> want to go. Yeah. You don't want to be there so I, I we, we cut that one off at the pass and uh and right now we're just finalizing a couple of levels and everything but i mean this is an example of an album analog mixes you know analog con- oh, awesome playing That's great. and i wish him the best of luck with it but you know we tiptoe through that and it's, it's something which i do every single day it's right. part of it's part of every single decision right now you just don't want to put a record out there that's quiet or too, quieter than right. it you're needs walking to be. a fine a fine yeah. line right yeah this kind of steps away from the, the loud thing. <laughs> hopefully, yeah, every, hopefully everyone has. Uh, I, I hope so. Much like mastering being a, a bit of a you know a confusing thing to some artists, I think at this point that the whole idea right. of maybe going for ultra loud is right. not the best thing has finally started to be in enough artists. Well, I, so. I think I think you know our, artists. Mean, that's are the one I've talked about. That. You know, you talk about more every every well, I, every seminar has the has yeah, the section about that. Absolutely. You know? I mean, I saw a really interesting. You know, um, yeah, it's just. I, I saw you in one of the interviews that you did. You said something interesting, and in that do you really think that they won't like the music if they had to, you know, if you have to turn a volume yeah, knob up yeah, a little bit yeah. from the last record you listened to, right. um, and maybe the record after that you might have to turn up even a little more. Right. I mean, but it's your record; it's your music. I mean, chances are you should be able, you know, you, you hope that the fans are open minded. It comes it. from the fact that for twenty, you know, what from age four until age twenty two, I never thought about any of this stuff other than whether I like the music or not. And I know how much you can love music. I, I bought hundreds of records, listened to them. You know, listen to Beach Boys, you know, Pet Sounds, probably listen to that record a hundred times, never thought once about the level of sure, it. I mean, exactly. I know it's a different era, yeah. but the thing is that it's really people really don't care that much if they love your music. You know, make your music good and then, you know, make it have as much impact as, as it can. But that impact does not come from just, just loud. being loud. Yes. Just loud. Absolutely. Sorry, it just doesn't.